Hi team, it's Jeff. Hope you guys had a great week. I know many of you were working hard as we were pushing to help viewers close out the month and there's one day left tomorrow, which is Monday. And for those of you in Canada, happy Canada Day. That's coming on Tuesday. And those of you in America, happy 4th of July. I want to take a minute and talk about a principle with you that's really helped me elevate my game and my leadership and I know will help you as well. As many of you know, I've had the opportunity to be mentored by John Maxwell over the last year. And one of the things he's done for me is he's given me principles that I've been able to put to work, all right, as I'm leading the company and growing. As a matter of fact, he's given me about 10 principles. And some of them were quite revolutionary for me. I'd never thought of business or leading that way. Others just kind of reaffirm what I was doing intuitively. But now that I have a definition and I have a little bit of a formula and I understand the power of what I'm doing intuitively, I can be intentional about it. And that truly has elevated my game. You know, one of the principles John gave me to work with was the principle of the sweet spot. Matter of fact, January 4th, he said to me and at the Inner Circle meeting, he said, Jeff, there's a handful of things that you do better than anybody else. And those things have the highest return for absolute results. So he challenged me to define what my personal sweet spot was for the company. And then he also challenged me to do nothing outside of that sweet spot. <laughs> now that's been a little work for a do everything guy, but I've been working on it and I've seen a huge return. Matter of fact, John used the analogy. He said, Jeff, you're the star straw that stirs the drink. You know, this week I was on the road visiting dealers, shooting greatest auto sale videos, you know, and I couldn't help think as I was talking to trainers and visiting dealers, what is the sweet spot for an absolute results trainer? And when I thought of that, I thought, doggone it, there's three words. We defined them two years ago. Activate, elevate, and engage. Now you all know that, but every private sale, as you're in dealerships, are you viewing every activity you do through that filter? As you're doing what, you, as you're training the staff, as you're decorating the showroom, as you're talking to customers, as you're meeting with the sales manager, as you're walking through parts, are you asking yourself, am I activating, am I elevating, am I engaging? And if you're not, change either what you do or how you do it. Now, we had some great examples this week of trainers that were involved in private sales that were doing that. I've been reading the reports and been very delighted. I want to share qu five quick stories with you. There's a story from Mitch Netterfeld at Abbotsford Chrysler who had a customer come in with a 2013 caravan. And after ex looking and, and reviewing that, realized that, wow, they really wanted a journey. And by being the man manufacturer affiliate and giving them an extra certificate was helped to make that car deal. That's engaging. You know, there was an example of Tim over at uh, Tim Corhomel at Mile High, uh, Buttes Mile High Chrysler in Denver. He was involved, there was a customer coming in and they, they had a Durango in 05 and they were trying to trade on a new car and the father was unwilling to pay anything more than $40 a month. Well, Tim had the fueleconomy.gov website and his tablet was able to show the father that was co-signing that doggone it, you're, you're gonna save your daughter 2,500 a, a year in fuel economy. And they were able to make the car deal with that bump. There's an example of John Bradley who was working at Grove Dodge and customers that just saw the balloons came in. They weren't going to buy, but just to look around. That's an activated showroom. And when John sat down with him and explained that, my goodness, you've got a 2012 Ram, you're in a sweet spot. The customer got excited, took a 14 for a drive, brought a 14, went and got his mother who bought a Dodge Dart. Now there's an example of Kelly O'Reilly over at Harrison and Imo who, you know, engaged one of the salespeople and called all their unsold leads since the last sale made three appointments and sold two with customers that had been in but couldn't make a car deal before. Then he talks about one of the new salesperson who'd been selling for seven weeks in the car business that sold two at the last private sale but then sold four at this one. Man, that's elevating. There's an example of Gus who the dealer Bustards called him earlier and said, I don't know if we're going to make it. We got 15 to hit our VPA. I don't know if we can do it. And he called the managers and engaged the managers, elevated them, and they came in and they just crushed it. And he helped the salesman with, with two and a half car deals on the board on the 28th of the month, get a couple more deals and believe again. So those are all great examples of trainers that are operating in their sweet spot. So ask yourself that question as you walk around the store. Am I activating, elevating, engaging? And am I the straw that stirs the drink? So have a fantastic week. Happy selling. Let's play cars and trucks and keep living the dream. Talk to you later.